Today we are in store to check out the new line called On 34th by Macy's. It is aptly named because 34th Street in New York City is where the flagship Macy's store actually is. Macy's went all in with this line. I am looking at an entire section of our local store and I have never seen a particular line take up this much floor space. The items seem like they can mix and match really well. There are a lot of really retro feeling pieces, but overall, I think they did a really great job, especially bringing out this line. And they do have extended sizes from extra extra small through extra extra L. They also have petite or short lengths in many of the items. You're going to see so many different styles and pieces that you can wear, whether it be to work or for a night out, even fancy items for pictures or something for your teenage daughter like this. Before I get into the dressing room, this pink blazer, I did try it on just right here. It is really soft and actually stretchy, even though it is fully lined. You won't see it on me, but I recommend it definitely. This blue cotton midi dress is full price $59.50. I am showing it here in a size medium. It does have pockets and a matching belt that is removable. I love it belted. I think it has a definite retro 50s kind of vibe going on, but they do have several other color options as well. Most of the line does have color options for you, including certain patterns. I think this is lovely, really comfortable. I'm going to show you without the belt though. When you take the belt off, it is extremely tented. I think that was created to give it the fullness though of the skirt bottom and it definitely gives room for growth or any changes or even if you're in a pregnancy phase of life. This 100% cotton maxi shirt dress quickly became a favorite. It also comes in different color schemes, but I really love this blue and white stripe. I love the length on it because you rarely see that with shirt dresses. It is unlined, but it's thick enough to really make you feel comfortable. And even though it is buttoned all the way down, I did a sit test and I was completely comfortable even to wear it in a work environment. And I love how fitted it is on the top portion it really has a feminine cut to it even when you take the included belt off it still could be worn as is without the belt but i also love that removable belts mean you can add your own and give it your own style it runs true to size i'm wearing a size medium and it is 79.50 at full price i think that price is fair considering the construction of the dress but i'd like to see it on sale this outfit quickly became a favorite. I'm going to just talk quickly about the jeans. They are so good. They are 99% cotton. These are a straight leg high rise in a regular length, showing them in a size eight, and I love the fit on them. They are a little bit loose on uh, the backside and the waist for me, but that is very common for my body type. I think that they fit wonderfully other than that, and I just have to take those in. If I didn't mention it, $49.50 full price, which is extremely fair. I genuinely love these jeans. They're the best jeans that I have seen come out of a store in a long, long time. So I think those are going to be coming home with me soon. The sweater is shown in the color alabaster and the size medium, $49.50 full price. It's a cotton polyester nylon blend. The size medium works great for a loose, just comfortable sweater that I could layer easily. I love the V-neck with the collar, beautiful ribbing on it, lots of different color options as well, but I thought this neutral was re really pretty. I also think I could get away with a small in this, but overall true to size. I accidentally grabbed a large in this striped Henley top, but I think that's okay to show you the differences in these more fitted style stretchy tops. I really think a medium would work better for me personally, but the large was just fine as well. Full price $34.50 comes in a multitude of different color and stripe options. I think it's a great layering piece. It is so warm, soft, and comfortable. Really like the fit on this, and it does have functioning buttons as well. If I didn't mention it, $34.50. 
This red sweater blazer is everything. I am showing it in a size medium. I really think a small would probably do best here just because of the looser fit and how stretchy it is. This is the perfect type of item if you're not into more traditional blazers but you like that professional look. You will definitely grab this and wear it over absolutely everything. It comes in so many different color options, including navy, black, and gray. $79.50 full price. I really think it's worth the price point because of the thickness and how many times you would wear this. So the cost per use would definitely work out well. But again, you know, there's always sales running at Macy's. So I can't wait to see what kind of deal we can get this one on. This blue ribbed knit tee, I believe I'm showing this in a size medium. So soft and comfortable, really reminds me of the textures from the last loft video I did of my favorite shirts from there. But I love how soft and comfy these are and how easily they can be worn and layered. You could also be just about any age point and wear this top in some capacity or another. $21.50, which is steel of the day. And I love the other color options it comes in because you can add a pop of color with some of their more neutral items or definitely definitely go neutral. Last but certainly not least for this particular try-on is this polka dot trench. If you've watched my videos, you know I have a thing for trench coats. So this one is the first thing that caught my eye. It's a size medium that I am showing and I am showing it belted for a reason. You will see that in a few moments. $150 full price. I truly believe this is the right price point for this because of the construction of it and how well built it is. I also love the uniqueness of the polka dots. You just don't see that very often with trench coats. And if you're like me and you wear a lot of neutrals, this adds a fun pop of style and color without really getting too wild. Now you're seeing me laughing here because I felt like it tented out quite a bit and it felt a little stiff when I wore it just open. I would hope that it would loosen up a little bit with your wear and tear and maybe a little bit of laundering, but really well made. As you can see the details, the inside of this is just as nice as the outside. I love the striping detail and the piping on it. Really, at $150, I couldn't believe that this was as well made as it is. It's just a really beautiful coat. Moving into their accessories, this is where I think they missed the mark a little bit. Design and color really can't be beat. They have a little bit of everything, so many different handbag options. However, they have really high price points. I'm talking $79 to $99 per bag. And I'm just gonna say it, many of the items felt comparable to Target quality. And just for that price point, I really don't think it's worth it. I really would have liked to seen a better quality of materials. You know, I'm okay with faux leather. I just am not okay with stiff plastic leather. And that actually was squeaking and kind of making noises as I was opening this particular bag, which is kind of sad because I love the shape of it. I love the size of it. And I think it's super functional. I just don't think it should be at a hundred dollar price point, especially for the texture of it. As they get feedback on this line, I am really hoping to see the price points come down on that because some of these bags are not exactly the most functional as well. As you can see here, you know, kind of a mini style bag, you're not gonna be able to fit a ton in there, but I do give them an A for effort. They also have a jewelry line to match the entire clothing line. So how do I think these are going to fare? They're pretty much at like a 20-ish dollar price point. They are kind of fun and trendy. They do have a lot of classic looking pieces as well. However, I felt like many of these items were actually physically heavy. So I don't know that I would personally be able to wear them. I don't like uh, earrings that drag on my earlobes. They also had beautiful necklaces. And I liked these ones in particular right here. They had like an enamel and a gemstone look. But again, these pieces have a lot of extra chains that hang down on the sides. And um, some of them just felt very costumey. But they do match the clothing lines, especially if you are getting into some fun pops of color. The gold on the pieces was okay. So I think the price point was all right there. Comment below if you'll be shopping this line. All the info is in the description box. And until next time, I'll see you soon.